हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ समीर खळतकर ॲडवायझर ॲट न्यूज भारती टुडे वी हॅव कम अप विथ अ स्पेशल टॉक शो फॉर एव्हरी वन इन्क्लुडिंग स्टार्टअप्स टू इंडस्ट्रियालिस्ट थ्रू दिस शो वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अवेअरनेस अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल असोसिएशन्स अँड डेअर इम्पॉर्टंट ॲक्टिव्हिटीज द लाईक माइंडेड इंडस्ट्रियालिस्ट कम टुगेदर टू गिव्ह ऑर टू टेक सपोर्ट अँड गायडन्स this way association or society helps to develop a better industrial community today we have with us a worldwide famous organization called international society of automation popularly known as isa on behalf of news bharati i take pleasure welcoming all members of isa pune chapter who have been playing a vital role in taking this organization miles ahead and my first question to rehani sir uh, please tell us about history of isa how and when it started before i start about the isa uh, i'll give a brief introduction about myself my name is karam rehani and i have over 50 years of experience in industry i am a senior life member of isa having membership over 30 years my industrial experience covers many of the industry verticals right from chemicals petrochemicals power fmcg and post my retirement from hindustan lever i started my own consulting company where the objective was to share my experience a with the industry and be with the organization like isa or through that platform so that i give back back to the community isa international society of automation is a non profit organization which is having a membership of over 38500 currently the history says like the this association was formed in 1945 by about 18 small groups dealing with automation perhaps during the world war when i think industrial activities at the peak and there was a gentleman who used to run a publishing house known as instrumentation publication company richard rambush i think that's the name if i remember correctly so he is the guy under his leadership they started this organization and named it instrument society of america and it became like from the local to global with a vision that automation for the betterment of mankind you know okay, that mission and objective still stays and somewhere i think in 2008 when i think the membership grew the technology changed and they actually renamed the organization from instrument society to international society of automation okay. and ever since it has been growing it has wide scope reach there are lot of subject matter experts from the industry from the university and who have contributed towards the automation or adoption of automation through standards and especially i think since this forum is for the smes here a special note for this that all industries have a challenge be a startup or be established company that you need to have improvement in your productivity mitigate the challenges what you have in quality or asset utilization and beside this there is always a overall envelope of safety earlier it used to be safety of the process personal etc but today with the technology in roads through software and internet we have another open field which is now and very critical field today which is cyber security my for second question to sujata tilak madam that please uh, give us the information about global organization status of isa uh, i am sujata tilak uh, i run a company called ascend intelimation uh, 
uh, we are into industrial iot and uh, in industry 4.0 uh, initiatives uh, at i i am a volunteer leader of isa uh, currently i serve on the global executive board of isa uh, so i uh, get i have a view of what's happening at the topmost level of the organization uh, i have i have started my isa leadership journey right here in pune uh, okay. as a member of pune section and then i took over the pune section as a president uh, and from there i became the district vice president of asia pacific district and so on Uh, now talking about isa as uh, mr rehani mentioned uh, it's a 75 years old organization uh, it's a member driven organization so okay. mem it's a organization for professionals who work in industrial automation now we all know that the industrial automation field as such has expanded multifold over past few years and now automation is not just limited to industry but it has gone to other fields including supply chain including uh, medical and even our personal lives right uh, so isa has a very important role in all this because they are the experts in automation and why i say they are experts because isa has developed around 150 worldwide standards uh, which are related to the automation and one of the most uh, talked about and one of the most used standard these days is IEC 62443 this oh. is the cyber security of uh, as uh, critical assets and ISA is the creator of this standard okay. uh, apart from this i'll just mention one more standard this is called ISA 95 uh, mm-hmm. and this is a standard for integration of uh, automation and enterprise and this standard is also widely used across the world um, regarding the is organization of isa for its members it is organized in geographical sections there are over 100 sections across the world uh, and out of that eight sections are in india uh, okay. so this is a, a geographical section layer uh, then we have technical divisions so there are 17 divisions so focus some are focused towards uh, industry and some are focused towards technology but the newest division is smart manufacturing and iot division which was started in 2020 because this industry for smart manufacturing is standing on foundation of automation and hence isa has lot of uh, expertise to offer in this also uh, another area about another very important uh, um, like activities of isa are trainings uh, so isa provides uh, trainings in all the areas where they work uh, we work uh, and this includes cyber security trainings this includes trainings on isa 95 uh, recently we have started two new trainings the first one is training for project management so management of automation projects so it's a training yeah. specific for people who manage automation projects and the project management training for them uh, and the second one is um, digital engineer training so again uh, looking at the current uh, scenario uh, mm-hmm. isa has started this training of digital engineer and these trainings are very uh, top quality and are you know um, uh, very popular including isa trains the united states homeland security in ic62443 so they do lot of trainings for them uh, so i think i can talk a lot more but i will stop here okay. and hand it over back uh, who is the current um, president of isa in uh, yeah. global uh, so current president of isa is mr marty bins Uh, he comes from canada uh, so since this is a global organization presidents are from different parts of geography uh, so he comes from canada the president previous to this was mr carlos mandolesi he is from ireland the next president will be mr prabhu sundar rajan he is from united states and you know it keeps going all across the world great how isa can be helpful to industrialist or maybe the startups and academia i'm hs pansare uh, i run a company called logicon techno solutions private limited uh, we are purely in industrial automation and manufacturing it solutions uh, isa actually i joined isa uh, in 1999 and then till 2004 i was isa member then suddenly mm-hmm. there was a break and then again i came back on 2013 and still then i am the isa Two years back, I became a president, and I had an opportunity to work with 
all the ISA members across Pune region. So my experience with the ISA is that ki, uh, because of, you know, uh, we interact with a lot of professionals in the automation and industries. And uh, we have you know, a lot of people who have knowledge and you know, we can have a networking together. So that benefits you a lot. Plus, you get lots of uh, you know, confidence when you work, you talk to these people and meet with them regularly. So you learn from them. So that is the one major benefit you get it. Absolutely. And uh, I had a you know, great uh, uh, benefit of uh, interacting with the global team, global people. So mm -hmm. we were actually, ISA Pune section was globally recognized mm -hmm. during my uh, you know, tenure of the president because we did lots of work. Uh, you know, we were hardly 20, 53 members when I took over and then we grew it to one, almost 155 members. Great. So another 150 mem 100 members we increased in two years of time. And we interacted with so many people. We did a lot of uh, projects. We are, you know, even in uh, engineering colleges also, we were having only three colleges as our section and we increased that to the nine colleges during. So we all, almost have 300 plus student section members and 150 professional members. So student section also get a lot of benefits out of ISA. Uh, one, the major benefit is the ISA scholarship from the US uh, Global mm -hmm. Scholarship, and which is a huge. It is $3,000 per uh, scholarship. So, and I think last, last two, three years, almost $35,000, $40,000 are coming to Pune section of students. So, great. so they great are night. really making good and they can spend that money on their further educations. Mm -hmm. So that is the benefit they you know, uh, get it. A student section plus we you know we always ensure that we go to the colleges you know give them some trainings on the uh, technical side and non-technical side also so you know that interaction happens and they also learn plus we also give them internships uh -huh. to the students you know we provide them uh, internships in the industries so these are the you know lots of benefits coming from the isa uh, to the professional members as well as the uh, student members right uh, let me say a few words about myself I am Gurmeet Anand, the current president of ISA Pune section. Uh, I, my journey in ISA has been relatively short. I joined ISA in 2016 and then a couple of uh, years I just looked at you know the happenings there and so on. In 2018 I decided that okay I should do something and uh, that thought came from actually giving back to the community. We have all reached a particular uh, stage where we have achieved some things in life when you have done that is something that what can you give back to society what can you give back to students how can you mentor them so this was my thought when i took up some leadership positions i initially i was uh, uh, i assumed the position of program chair who you know organizes the programs and the tech talks uh, during the year uh, not very successful, I would say, but then next uh, I was given the task of a treasurer where I was a treasurer for two years and then I, I was told, I rather I elected for being president-elect last year and I also took over the mantle of uh, secretaryship. So learned the ropes, so to say, last year and then this year I assumed the position of uh, president of the ISA Pune section. Uh, so here my thought is again, as I said, giving back to community. Uh, mentoring students, going to colleges, uh, arranging guest lectures and making the section a very vibrant section. In this one thought which comes to me is, you know, inclusiveness. Okay. You can have a section which is having 150 or 200 members or something and then you find out that only 10% or 15% members are active. Mm. How do you make the other people also participate? So we went beyond a brief. We do, we went on instead of a working committee meeting, we started having monthly member meetings. We involved all the members. Whoever was welcome to come. We founded. We formed uh, subcommittees for every particular function. We formed a subcommittee for membership. We formed subcommittees for uh, uh, programs and so on and so forth. These subcommittees roped in ordinary members also. That they come to know what is going on and then if they are interested, they come forward to take up leadership position. It has been always ISA's norm that you should encourage 20% fresh people in the board every year and we are stuck to that. Not only 20%, we may be have, you know, exceeding that by 25-30% or so. So that is one thing that you bring in future people. Okay, another norm in ISA is again that, uh, uh, you know, at the executive position, the president, you can be a president for two years, then you move on and you know, let 
fresh blood come in so i like this uh, uh, you know norm in isa uh, as a whole and as far as the isa section, pune section is concerned after taking up the mantle of leadership uh, we have very grand plans instead of one conference which typically happens in a year we want to have three conferences one conference was already very successful it was on the 28th of april that is our foundation day by the way and we had a process automation conference on that day we have already announced another two conferences one it will be an iiot conference which will be the fourth in our series the fourth conference and this we would be having probably in january another very unique thing we are going to do again this year is having a student led conference now students are the leaders of tomorrow how do you make them get involved how do you make them uh, leaders so we have a plan here that all the nine colleges will come together and host a student led conference where there will be quiz programs there will be uh, competitions and so on there will be papers published in isa so this is a very big task where again we are going to involve the right. industry also the academia and everybody so these are these are some of the plans we have this year and we are very sure we are going to achieve them so this is something what we do we are also holding a tech talk almost every month not almost but every month even today we had a tech talk which was brilliant there was so much of participation and questions and so on and it was on the very vital subject of cyber security uh, which brings me to our cyber security trainings we have been very successful pune is a go to section for holding cyber security training as per is 62443 we did one course in june where against against an intake minimum intake of 12 people 12 participants 24 people came in and we had to refuse to once a participant completes all the four courses he becomes a cyber security expert so i am very proud to say that isa pune has given practically trained more than about 170 at this count uh, cyber security experts and we are the go to organization in india for doing the cyber security training thank you so much so we were as i said mentioned that you are globally uh, recognized with the you know Uh, some awards also to uh, isa pune section i got an award as a section leader excellence award last year then this year we got a section uh, excellence award for the complete section and also uh, gurmeet received a one more award as volunteer leader of the you know section so Great. these are the three awards plus all the time uh, for last 2 3 years we are on the <coughs> top out yes. of all that sections across the globe So, so these great are the congrats great to good, uh, great all the team members done. and that one of mr carlo c c mentioned last year he was a president seeing our all this performance of the <laughs> pune section he visited us yes we had a dinner uh, with him and we interacted with him and he really uh, no, appraised all of us absolutely so this is the great work done by the team it's not yes. only one or two people definitely so it's a great and also we have actually you know got lot of young uh, minds earlier isa means it was all old people oh. lot of new young guys also joined isa uh, so i would say for any startup which is working in the automation domain or robotics or uh, industry four you know all these uh, areas uh, isa can help them at three levels okay mm -hmm. one is at the local pune section level so you can see all of these expert people are here so there is a networking opportunities they can talk to them they can get introductions to you know because in professional life or for startups getting network is very important uh, so then of course they can attend the tech talks and so on so that is at the local level the second level is at the district level now district for us is asia pacific which includes eight sections in pune uh, and singapore malaysia brisbane and um, china japan, japan. Yeah, four sections outside uh, so these people can reach out to members in any of these sections so if they need some information of or if they want some connect some contacts they have this entire network of asia pacific at their disposal and they can utilize it so we have a members portal exclusive members portal called isa connect mm. now all isa members are on this portal and any member can connect with any other member not just asia pacific or pune but across the world across so the world. this possibility of connecting with anyone who is anywhere and who can uh, you know be helpful to you this is very very good and for startups or anybody else any professional this is very valuable yes. uh, the second very important thing is isa technical resources uh, as we have already talked about 75 years of organization building standards building lots of technical um, content 
all this content is available to members okay all iss standards can be accessed by members free of charge otherwise these standards are sold and it's at a pretty high cost hmm. right but for members they can access all these standards free it comes as part of their membership benefit and this is i think very very um, important part. and unique and as well as you know if one wants one can utilize it very beneficially for themselves for their organization uh, so i would say for any not just startup any organization which is working in the field of automation they must consider becoming part of isa because they will definitely benefit and second thing is they can give back to the community, community you know their expertise their knowledge they can give back to the community on isa connect we have a technical discussion forum and i'll tell you this discussion forum is very active uh, if you need some information if you ask a question people from across the world answer they give you their not just theoretical answer but talk about their experiences provide case studies and so on so this is very 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 uh, vital required. for uh, your uh, uh, you know Initial growth and also. understanding and so absolutely, on so absolutely absolutely this is great so first of all i'll introduce myself uh, i am satish pathak uh, founder director of a tech innovation startup called Samip Technology Innovations Private Limited. Uh, one important point about the tech innovation startups. See, startups coming from uh, different business models and all is uh, very different, and uh, disruption uh, bringing in the technologies is very different. The most uh, vital or very uh, critical challenge in tech innovation startups is uh, who would uh, evaluate or who would really Uh, scrutinize the importance of that uh, invention or innovation right. and you really need the experts and a standard process and that to unbiased so uh, you may find uh, several awards are given in the startup community to encourage the startups and uh, it is uh, like a kind of a pat on their back uh, to keep the journey on but uh, that is not the case with uh, core technology uh, innovation startups they really need to get the things validated the ga- need to get the things standardized uh, otherwise it cannot be uh, deployed or industry would not welcome it because their processes worth several lakhs of rupees is uh, really dependent on all those things when they want to adapt it so even countries like india those kind of pilots are also challenging though uh, it's not a healthy sign but it's a fact uh, we can say and uh, in this all process recognition is very important from the global uh, recognitions are very very important uh, so uh, i must say isa really has played a very vital role in uh, giving such recognition to my startup and uh, my work in technology innovation especially my own patented uh, digital control valves which is really a good disruption across globe uh, having applications almost every industry vertical the thing is that these uh, awards or this recognition doesn't come by uh, your own application or request or it is not a competitive uh, award it is based on the evaluation criteria that isa headquarter has and if at all uh, your work really fits into it that recognition is given now this year i learned that there was no such award given for technology innovation so these are the uh, things and stringent criteria for isa headquarter uh, innovation awards and when such not for profit organization having all competent uh, people on the panel when they recognize they recognize it by study by analysis and by understanding its global importance and when you get that kind of an award that really becomes a global recognition for you and automatically uh, that is followed by other organizations it helps many a cases to the investors and mentors to uh, who are really not able to uh, evaluate the uh, core uh, depth of that particular technology so for them this is a ready analysis and ready validation which comes from isa Yeah. so uh, that was the great help uh, as far as technology innovation startups are concerned and i would uh, request rehani sir to uh, share his experience or his views on uh, what industries would benefit out of isa 
uh, that is the end user industries who should deploy automation with them i would request rehani sir to speak on that uh, thank you satish before i give my comments and views uh, just say a small disclaimer <laughs> i think what of the panelists have shared before me and now me onwards these are personal views you know while isa is the organization they have their own i think policy and nothing but what we are sharing with us is our own experiences with isa and using that isa applications and maybe spreading that awareness of isa among the industry as well as the academy you know now coming back to the core question you know how does isa helps and especially i think the question before was is it only for automation professional or it is for more you know my experience is that be it any industry you know any manufacturing there is a role of automation there you know. actually i have always professed that you can drive manufacturing excellence through automation <laughs> absolutely the challenge is generally any manufacturing has either in terms of maybe if you go back in time the anything you make always had some kind of a focus on quality you know when people started focusing on quality the productivity started impacting you know because your rejections were more your productivity and then obviously like you know the standards which isa just talked about there is a famous standard most popular standard for batching industry anything we use in the consumer industry is based on the batching processes you know is 88 there's a batching standard you know in using that standard one were able to ensure that is from batch to batch variability is minimized you know but then the process become very stringent and very Okay. I mean, you just can't play with the like in India. We have the tendency, you know, make by jugaad and then sell it, you know. <laughs> But like Satish said just now, if you want to be globally competitive, you need to adopt the manufacturing which is based on standards, you know, standard-driven organization, you know. So whether it is related to say batching or it is a discrete process or it can be any other thing, you know, you have standards which will govern and help you improving the processes, you know. the core issues of manufacturing today uh, which have always been there we talked about say quality and productivity now we also talk about say the asset productivity you know especially i think when you have a special purpose machines which are there because any product you pick up from the shelf in terms of the shape or composition the sizes has its own unique challenges in manufacturing you know but the marketing guy says oh i want this shape of the bottle you know <laughs> but the production guy at the shop floor how does uh, you do that and all right from getting the molds to the fitting into the machine and to see that wastages are minimized it becomes like a continuous uh, process you know that means ability of machines to change over in the shortest possible time introducing more innovations for the consumer that gives the lead in the marketing you know uh, that's a, i think challenge in the consumer industry you know? mm -hmm. and continuous processes obviously you have the yield you know in terms of maybe energy consumption per ton of the produce or maybe the overall productivity minimizing i think your uh, suppose a fertilizer picking plant you know at what capacity it runs you know when people started using automation tools it is unbelievable that efficiency 100% you know that means somebody had kept those safety margin so that they are you know covering all the shortcomings you know but when you start addressing the shortcomings through automation it comes as a benefit you know and as a big surprise you know absolutely so that's the potential of automation you know. absolutely and other i think the most important thing while we talk about automation the biggest challenge is the adoption of technology by the human beings at the shop floor you know hmm. you may get technology you may get solution but the challenge is always how to implement at the shop floor you know so there i think there lot of work need to be done we never say that automation will replace the mankind no never it basically becomes like a supplement and complement to what the human beings have been doing you know 
can you ask a some operator to do a same kind of a job when it is not through automation and having a good control is like having a security guard in the night shift you know can we expect him to not have a nap <laughs> but in a process plant all instrumentation control systems they are our surveillance system they are all control guards you know to ensure that human fatigue is not impacting the performance of the plant you know so that's the beauty of automation you know Absolutely. it supplements the mankind you know and overall i think the newer plants when the demand is more people are making high capacity plant a small interruption can lead to lot of losses so there is always like a mechanism which is built in by a design that such losses are not there at all you know whether you need to have a power backup or you need to have a fail safe mechanism they all become part of our design only you know. so there is a whole lot of it and finally i think to the manufacturing community here who are watching this program you may be from any industrial vertical there is a division in isa which addresses and is a storehouse of knowledge and experience on those divisions you know by becoming a member of isa you have the access to the experts at the same time the standards and you also have a big network to share your thoughts and take their guidance to drive your companies or your ideas forward you know thank you very much absolutely great and they may be eager to know uh, about your membership uh, part so my last question to mr satish uh please give us the um, brief information about membership so i am sure by watching this uh, uh, program and lot of information now your curiosities must have raised a bar high and uh, you are really willing to be member of isa and wherever uh, whichever sections you are close to you can be a member to that particular isa section and we would be most happy if you join isa pune section as such and i am the person presently holding the membership chair for isa pune section now there are quite uh, different types of membership with isa one is obviously a professional membership second is the student membership third is the senior members who are having uh, more than 10 years of experience in the industry and another is the life uh, membership that is complimentary for the members who have completed their 25 years of membership with isa and one live example here in, on this panel discussion we have uh, karam rehani sir so uh, and the thing is that with the uh, latest uh, technology and dig digitization <coughs> isa membership is very very simple you just have to go to isa.org and you have an option for becoming a new member start with entering your uh, email id which you want to get associated with isa and on that email id you will get uh, further uh, confirmation and you just have to fill your information pay your fees online and you are sorted but beyond that still if you want you have any questions feel free to reach to me we are here not only me but as such each member of uh, isa pune section is running a membership chair i can say because everyone is so uh, eager mm -hmm. and uh, happy to welcome the new members here as if uh, they want to grow their own family so <coughs> this is a very simple process to go forward for isa membership and i would welcome all of you to be member and it's for various reasons as you heard a lot for the benefits of isa it's a ocean of knowledge information standardization uh, taking your business forward uh, cer certifications so what not so it's really the three letters you need to remember i s a that's it and you are welcome to our community thank you so thank much you. this is our first episode of uh, this talk show and uh, i think uh, most of the viewers of industries or maybe from students or maybe from startups they may need such kind of information from us and we are there uh, for your knowledge upgradation news bharati is available on your uh, every time with you and for you thank you